get an email saying your channel, Kamir Yvonne, has been removed. Tried to look at like my recent videos, gone. There was nothing, like everything had been deleted. So then I searched my name, none of my content came up. I've been looking good, I've been feeling nice, working on my own, cleaning up, working overtime. You be getting boring, so, 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 give me boom, boom, you playing games, you can't, so, gang, gang, you ain't so. Phone number don't change, though. Hey friends, it's Kamara Yvonne. Welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're not a new viewer. It feels really weird to be filming a video considering what we're about to be talking about. If you guys have seen the title, yes, YouTube deleted my whole channel. They, they got rid of me. They removed all traces of me on YouTube and I was pretty sure that I would not be coming back to YouTube. Um, my platform was stripped away from me. I did not think I would be able to post and talk to you guys again. So I'm just gonna be explaining what happened and how I got my channel back. This happened about a week or so ago and I always watch YouTube in the morning. YouTube is pretty much a part of my morning routine. I'm listening to motivational videos, affirmations. YouTube is just a part of my daily routine. So I was listening to one of those videos in the morning and out of nowhere, I get an email saying, your channel, Kamir Yvonne, has been removed. And at the exact same time, I got another email saying your video has been taken down due to guideline strike. So I got off the YouTube app to open my email and I'm so confused. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, my channel's been removed, what do you mean? And I read the email and it basically says, I have had too many guideline strikes. They've had to warn me way too many times about my channel, about my videos, and they felt like this was the final straw, this was the straw that broke the camel's back. So they decided to delete my channel and I would not be able to get on the app, I would not be able to browse, I would not be able to post new videos, I would not be able to do anything. So at first I was like, I'm not gonna take it too serious, like I could just handle this later, like this is obviously a mistake. And I also said that the video that they took down was actually the video where I talked about how to gain weight using, I'm not gonna say what it's called, but they deleted the video where I talked about gaining weight using a syrup. And I was very confused because I actually found out about the product because of YouTube. I saw other people talk about it and I figured why not just share my experience as well. But they basically said, no, and I felt like they tried to accuse me of selling illegal pharmaceuticals because that's exactly what it said. It said that I was trying to sell pharmaceuticals without a prescription and that is just so ridiculous that they had to take my platform down. I'm like, I was not trying to sell anything. I never claimed to sell it. I did not include any links of where you could buy it. I just said, hey, I took this syrup and this is what happened to me when I took it. So I was just really confused. And then I tried to get back on the YouTube app and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just handle this later. I'm not gonna stress about it. I could not finish the video. When I tried to press play on the video again, it was basically like, error, you're gonna have to switch accounts if you wanna watch this. Like, my whole Google account was gone. Like, gone. They, they said we're not playing with you, we're getting rid of you. So, I then tried to look at my channel and I tried to look at like my recent videos, gone. There was nothing, like everything had been deleted. So then I searched my name, none of my content came up. The only thing that came up was where people mentioned my name in their videos, which thank you guys to everybody who mentioned my name in your videos, I had no idea. But there was no trace of me. So immediately I am just feeling, I'm frazzled, I'm confused, I'm being accused of selling illegal pharmaceuticals and I get my whole channel deleted because of a video talking about gaining weight and I'm 
I'm just really confused. I'm emotional at the same time because I've been on this platform for a few years now. So I have almost 300 videos on my channel. I reached 50,000 subscribers last year, 6 million views, one video with 3 million views, a couple other viral videos. I just felt like all my accomplishments were gone. All my accomplishments were down the drain and there was no trace of me like I have put so much money time effort into creating this content and now it's just it's been wiped away from me and I did not know how to feel about that I felt like you know like when you're typing a paper and you accidentally hit delete on it without saving it and you're just distraught you don't want to start the paper over that's exactly how I felt um, I just felt like if my platform is gonna be taken away from me, I'm not creating another channel. I didn't even, I felt like I didn't even have a way to say goodbye to you guys. Like, I'm just gone. There's no way that I can even communicate with all of you guys that my channel will be taken down. You won't be able to talk to me anymore. You won't be able to see me anymore. Gone. Just gone. So, at this point, I'm like, well, I need to reach out to somebody because at this point, I don't care if you don't ever allow me to post on this platform again, but to delete my content is just a whole nother level. Like, I'll never post a video again. I don't care, but leave up my videos. Leave up my accomplishments. I've, I have accomplished a lot on this platform, and I wanna be able to go back and look at it. There are so many memories in my videos of me in high school. Just There's just so much on my channel, and for you to just strip that away was just a lot. So obviously I'm emotional, I'm upset, and it just destroyed my whole entire mood. Of course, the next thing I wanted to do was reach out to YouTube or Google to try and get to the bottom of this. On the email it said that I could appeal the decision and try and get them to reevaluate what they decided. So of course I'm filling out this appeal and I'm like, I didn't even know that I would not be able to post about this. I didn't bl blame anybody else because I have seen other people talk about it, but whatever. I did not know that that would get my channel taken down. It was an honest mistake. You can delete the video, but to delete my channel is a whole nother thing. So I just kept submitting the appeals. My appeals were not working. Every time I submitted an appeal, I got a response saying, my YouTube never existed. Like, it was just so much going on. And then I'm like, okay, well I need to talk to somebody. Like, who can I talk to? There's no numbers for you to reach. There's nobody for you to email. Like, they have it set up to where you cannot talk to anybody. You'll be talking to yourself or other people with the same issue, you know? Like, you'll only be talking to robots. It's very hard to get to talk to an actual person. So I am Googling everything. I'm YouTubing everything, trying to figure out what I can do. And I came across um, a lot of videos where people's YouTube channels had actually been terminated as well and a couple of them were talking about how they got their channel back so that gave me a little bit of hope and then some some people were talking about they never got their channel back so I really just didn't know how to feel like my whole channel was just stripped away from me and I did not know how to feel and another thing that really irritated me about this whole situation is I don't know if you guys have seen the commentary videos that I've done where I talk about YouTube couples and why I'm not a big fan of them. So many people came at my neck for basically saying a lot of their content is very, very inappropriate and they never get in trouble for it, but small YouTubers always get in trouble, wrongfully in trouble for things that they do. This is why, this is exactly why I come so hard at big YouTubers and YouTube couples because how many times do big YouTubers get to do disgusting, inappropriate videos, whether it has to do with, I'm not even gonna monetize this video because I don't care, whether it has to do with getting head prank, sex prank, turning them on prank, giving them an edible prank, you know, like all kinds of craziness and they get to monetize their content and they get to get paid from it and nothing happens to them. But when a small YouTuber posts a video about how she gained weight, you strip the whole channel. And that is why I come so hard and I had that energy that I had for couples channels. So many people were like, oh, you're just mad. You don't have to watch them. 
they're just getting to the bag let them do them let them do what they want no because there's a double standard on this platform period it is it's a double standard if somebody can post an x-rated prank video and youtube doesn't strip their channel immediately but somebody with only 50,000 subscribers makes a simple mistake and you get to accuse me of trying to sell drugs and i can't even talk to you to say hey it was an honest mistake like how is that fair that's not that's not fair at all and it's a very obvious double standard and that's why i come as hard as i do at youtube couples and it rubbed me so wrong this has left such a bad taste in my mouth about youtube as a whole because i already didn't like youtube couples but now I don't know how I feel about being on this platform, period. Because if you can just strip my channel away like that, and I seriously didn't do anything, I don't really know if I want to be posting on this channel. I don't know if I want to be a part of this platform, period. Because you're basically saying, we don't care about all the accomplishments you've made. We don't care about how much work, time, and effort you have put into building your platform. We don't care. A robot gets to delete your channel over an audit? Like, what? That's not right. So, I got a little off topic, but that's a part of how I felt. There's an obvious double standard, and if that double standard is going to be there for small black creators during Black History Month, I don't want to be a part of it. I don't. So, I found this YouTube video with this guy talking about how he got his YouTube channel back, and he basically said at first he reached out to Team YouTube on Twitter, and at first it was robots who were responding to him, but the more he like explained his situation, eventually a human responded. And then he also said that there was a YouTube support email for people who are monetized on YouTube for if you need help with your channel or something, you can reach out to them and they'll help you. So I tweeted to Team YouTube and I explained the situation to them and at first they didn't respond. Eventually they did. They gave me a generic robot response and I also reached out to YouTube support or whatever it's called for content creators and I got into a chat with one of them and I explained. I'm like, hey, like, I think my channel was wrongfully taken down. Like, can you help me? I've been talking to robots and all this. She reassured me that she would help me and she told me, like, I'll talk to you in 24 hours and see what I can do. And at this point, I also am on a time crunch because the sooner you reach out and get it resolved, the better. Because in my mind, I'm like, I'm not sure if the longer I wait, like, will all my content come back? Will all my subscribers come back? I don't know. So I just wanted to have it resolved as soon as possible. And I saw another video where a girl was talking about she found somebody on Twitter whose friend actually works for YouTube support. And she was able to talk to him and he passed her situation on to his friend who works for YouTube and got it resolved that way. So she included his Twitter link in the bio. So of course, I DM'd him too. I'm like, hey, I have 50,000 subscribers. Can you help me get my channel back? Like, what can you do? Can you put in a word for me to your friend too? Like, I need some help. And he responded to me and he was like, that's really crazy. Um, he also told me that YouTube is really sensitive about things that have to do with pharmaceuticals, which I did not know. But I mean, I figured it was probably a robot audit who deleted my channel. It was just a robot thing, I figured. So, it was cool talking to him. And he said, you know, I pass it along to my friend. And I just kept watching YouTube videos about it, trying to figure it out. A lot of the videos had people in the comments like, I lost all my playlists, I lost my music, um, I lost, lost playlists. That was what a lot of people were saying. They lost playlists because YouTube deleted their account. And I was like, man, like I really feel for y'all for losing your music because I lost my playlist too. To lose your whole platform and source of income is a whole another feeling. So, yeah, it was just, it was really just a lot. So, after going back and forth with Team YouTube on Twitter, they were like, um, hey, check and see if your channel's back. And it was. About an hour of getting my channel back, I had two copyright notices, which is basically where they say, hey, the music you had in your video has just been claimed by somebody else, so now all your ad money will go to them. 
and those videos were so old like from years ago so i'm like why are y'all still on my page like why are y'all still checking and seeing what i'm doing like this is very weird but i didn't think anything of it and then i get a video saying i get an email saying you now have a copyright strike so i'm like why won't y'all leave me alone like why are y'all still looking at my page like what is going on i don't no. So I start looking at the email talking about I have a copyright strike. Y'all, they gave me a copyright strike for a wash and go video. For a wash and go video. And they said, I forgot what they said was wrong with the video. I don't even remember. But it was a wash and go video. I did not do anything wrong in that video, yet I received a copyright strike. And I was like, you know what, whatever. A copyright strike is better than you deleting my channel. So with a copyright strike, you cannot post for a week. You cannot post on the community page, none of that. So my week is up today, hence why I'm back on YouTube today. And I just wanted to give y'all a quick synopsis of everything that has happened because I was ready to get on my consistent posting. I was ready. I had so much planned for that week that they took me down. <laughs> I was ready to post my content and go about my business, but they did not want me to be great. And I really just feel like this whole situation has humbled me to a whole nother level. This showed me how quickly my platform can be taken away from me. This showed me like how I feel if YouTube just shuts down randomly one day, you know? So I had to think about if my channel gets taken away or anything happens, God forbid, what am I gonna do about that income I'm missing? My people, my subbies, I won't be able to talk to y'all. Like, how would I feel if these things happen? So I just wanted to come on and be completely transparent about what happened with you guys and also just say that I love y'all and I appreciate y'all so much for subscribing and supporting because the last three videos that I posted have been doing so well and that just motivated me to keep the content coming to keep it going and then my channel got taken away from me so I don't know how I feel about posting on YouTube right now because this really has left a very sour taste in my mouth and I hope that you guys can understand that but what I will say is that you guys should follow me on other platforms I did just start posting on TikTok. I'm trying to get more into posting on my personal page on Instagram I am on Twitter and my business page on Instagram I post there every day so if you guys ever want to DM me talk to me any of that you guys can just DM me and say hey I love when you guys talk to me um, I'm not gonna edit this too much because we're here to talk about the tea of me getting my page taken down and that is that on that. Um, I will, I don't know. I don't know when the next video will be, honestly. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. But whenever the next video will be coming out, I'll see you guys then.